Hey guys, it's MC YouTube fan here, and uh, I'm going to show you my Minecraft action figure collection and also a toy review of all of them. Now I'm going to show you the animals first. So we got the cow, and the cow has very cool articulation. Uh, it's actually pretty normal, just back and forth. You can make them do like a walking pose or something, which is really cool if you really like, you know, do poses for them. The head goes back and forth, and the like horns or or ears are like 3D, which is cool. I don't know if they're like that in Minecraft, but that's really cool. The sheep, the sheep is really cool too. It bounces. See that? It just bounces because as he springs, and the head goes back and forth too. Not much articulation, so I'm not going to hold detail of this, but you know, uh, the head back and forth like all the animals do. You got these like little. Walking legs, things, and also these really cool different type of legs in the back. I don't know why that is, but it's really cool. I really like it. I don't know, we can make him like do a sitting pose or something. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. He's begging. I don't know. The begging pig. He's begging for. I don't know. He's <laughs> about to say his own kind, but that's kind of mean, so I'm not going to say it. Shh. Okay. We got the dog, and the dog has articulation like this. The uh, legs go back and forth. Um, the head side to side. It's a tame dog, by the way. With the color, you could always paint it different color if you really want to. The tail actually goes side to side, but in Minecraft they actually go up and down, which is weird. I don't really care, but you know it's cool. I like it. I like that they even put articulation in the tail. And pretty cool. Next, we got. Let's do the cat. And it's also a lot, because if they would have to make cats, they will make a whole pack with just separate, like, three cats. Probably add him. But this is the ocelot, actually. The untamed ocelot. The tail is actually really cool. I'll get more into detail in a second. The legs don't move, but the head goes again side to side. If you want to make him hold a fish, you can. But the tail is really cool. You can go up, down, left, right. It's on this ball joint, you know, a ball joint. You can just make him go up, round and round, or even turn it upside down. Do a cool, I don't know what kind of tail pose that is, but that's really cool. I could probably take it out, but I don't want to, because I don't want to break the figure in accident. Um, the chicken. And the chicken is probably one of the funniest, I don't know, but... <laughs> you could do, you know, the twisting head thing. <laughs> you could, and uh, no articulation in the feet, but you have these little flappy wings. Flappy bird, flappy chicken. Really cool. Really cool. Now for the mobs and the human. The humans, and then the blocks are going to be at the end, by the way. And like little things you get from. Okay, right now we got the Enderman. He's kind of tall, so I'm going to have to put him way over here so you can see him. But uh, yeah, let's make him sit. <laughs> Look how fun these figures are. Um, So the Enderman, he has. Like leg joints right here, up, down. Same thing with the arms, up, down. And he doesn't. And uh, he he has a cool feature where you can make him hold a block. I'll show him doing that at the end of this video. Uh, he also has like the head, the head, you know, back and forth or round, actually round in circles. Actually, I don't know. It's really cool. I really like it. He's just really tall. I'll, I'll compare it with uh, Steve right here, the Diamond Armor Steve, which we'll be taking a look at in a second. Really tall. And then next to the Iron Golem. He's actually taller than the Iron Golem. I'm not sure if that is in real Minecraft, but uh, yeah, you guys could uh, figure that out yourself. If he is taller. Who? Leave in the comments who win. An Iron Golem or Enderman. That would be a cool boss fight, you know? Boss battle. Seeing two of the tallest creatures in Minecraft, you know, fighting head to head. So next we have is the spider jockey. And you know, this also we're also taking a look at the skeleton and the spider, but all together it makes spider jockey. So we got the skeleton. Now his arms can go up and down, but you know, skeletons just have their arms open, so we can keep them like that. You can't make them stand if you just pose it right. Come on, pose up. Come on, up, oh, up, oh, whoop out. Okay, um, <laughs> there's the, uh, uh, what was it, waist joint, or waist turn, or whatever. The head articulation, all the way back and forth, 360, but I'm not going to do that, because, you know, 
Actually, I can. Yeah. That wasn't completely all 360, but you know. He has his bow, which is really cool. Oh, yeah. V joint. Same thing as always. But he has, his, he has his bow. Really cool. Really good detail. String. It's not real string, it's just plastic. But he has this, like, little thing here to clip on to his uh, hands. Like, see his hands? They're, like, they're. they're what do they call it? Like zigzag or ragged or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, you put it in there and it stays in there pretty well. Pew. Dead. Now we have the spider. And the spider, it doesn't have too much articulation just because it's a spider because every leg move. But instead, all the legs move all together just up and down. It's really cool. I wish the head moved but doesn't. You got the uh, saddle which you just slide in. Really cool, and you got the skeleton. You go on like that, slides in there, and have uh, yeah, that's the uh, skeleton. So let's move on to the creeper. Yeah, the creeper and the enemy fell. But I'll just leave them like that. Okay, but the creeper, really cool. It's a creeper, man. That's really cool. Um. But the creeper doesn't have too many articulation because it's a creeper. But it has head, 360. Ugh. Um, it has, you know, the feet that go up and down, and you can make them like I don't know, go whoa or something like I don't know. You can make them swim like a fish or a jellyfish. You know how they go? They go whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know. <laughs> you can make them do a sit pose with these things. I don't know. I don't know. You can do so many cool stuff with this. Um, so yeah, Creeper. I think he's a little bit bigger than he is in Minecraft, and the yeah, the Iron Golem just fell. But the ground now looks normal, but his head's bigger, way bigger. I don't know if that is in Minecraft. I'm pretty sure they're smaller than Steve actually. But um, well, you know, it's Creeper. Can't get too upset with that. <laughs> Next we have it's Diamond Steve and Diamond Steve. He comes with his awesome diamond sword. Oh, yeah. It would be cool if we got a diamond pickaxe, too. Because you can't get a diamond pickaxe in this line. But, yeah. The diamond sword is actually really cool. Really well detailed. I don't know what. It's, like, grayish black right here. It's uh, outlined. It. It's really cool. Really cool sword. Really cool. Um, the There's this cool feature where the helmet can just pop off. It's not loose on there. Like, I'm just going to put it on there. And, uh, <laughs> hold on. Put it on there. And tap. It's on there forever. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, uh, so yeah. Feet. Uh, wish they could come off, but they can't. Uh, the shoulder pads would be cool. All this armor, you could just, like, take it off and be normal. But that's kind of hard to do, I'll uh, figure. Oh, yeah, and the sword. Uh, connects just like that. Some people do it like this, which they are wrong because it doesn't even stay in, it just like falls out. See, yeah, it fits perfectly like a puzzle. So, yeah, really cool. Up and down, side to side, and yeah, just really cool figure. I think I like this as much as I like the uh, Enderman because the Enderman's really cool. And I got to stand up, woohoo! Um, Next is the Iron Golem, and we're almost done with this toy view, which is really cool. So the Iron Golem, he's tall, he holds a flower, like everything. This one does, it's this one just perfectly straight, it's not like zigzaggy and you know, whatever, like a puzzle. But it just slips in there and just holds pretty well, it's really cool. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you can make him hold in both hands, same thing with any of the other... People like that. Good. You know, you can do like that smash pose where you can flings the animal and flop. Well, not animal, but you know, mob. It's really cool. The, uh, you know, leg articulation. Same as everything. Waist articulation. Very cool. <clears throat> um, head articulation. It would go all the way around if the nose was not there. If the nose was not there, yeah, you can make it go all the way around. I don't know why you won't do that. So, but yeah, those articulation for the win. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Um, next, we're going to move on to normal Steve. And uh, this figure's kind of old. He's kind of broken because I've been, you know, doing stunts with him. And oops, forgot to give him the flower. See, really cool. Um, the uh, normal Steve, uh, they actually have a new version. I'm actually going to get Diamond Steve also. So here's Diamond Steve and here's normal Steve. Now they made a new version of this where he's, like, I'll show you the face. You see his face? See his face? They made his face look like his face. I like this face better because it's more shiny and cleaner. Plus the pink can came off on my figure. And you can make him put the helmet on, but it's kind of... It's been really stuck in there, so it works better on this. Dude. But yeah, really cool. Like the detail and all, you know, like the patterns on his shirt and stuff. Like the same thing with the pants. I'm not sure if you can see, but goes down. Yeah. Um, cool articulation. Same as Steve, but no helmet. Um, it comes with a iron pickaxe. Some people say it's stone, but if you look on the box, it's iron. Um, it's really cool. Really cool. It's again, it's just like the diamond sword. You just attach it on there. And, uh, so yeah, that's the, uh, Steve review. I mean, the toy review for Steve. And, uh, we're gonna take a look at the blocks. And the little items you get. I don't have all the figures, as you realized, but, um, yeah. So the little items you get are three silverfish. And they're just, like, little items. They don't have any articulation whatsoever, but they're really cool. Next, we got a mushroom, which comes with the Enderman, and this grass, and gunpowder comes with the creeper. And, but unfortunately, you can't make them, can't make Steve hold any of these, so they're just like little things you can just put anywhere. I don't know. Um, it'd be cool if you could make them hold them. That'd be really cool. But again, with the Enderman, I said I would be doing it like that. You could spread his arms apart and make him hold the block. So let's try and do that. There you go. <laughs> so kind of huge on here, and it fell. I almost knocked the camera over. But um, yeah. Come on, stay, stay. Well, you know, if you can make them hold the block. It's really cool. Uh, it might break your figure, but I think they fix that so it won't. Um, yeah, really cool. And look at that. Now it's a dirt block. <laughs> That's cool. So, yeah, there's that block. Put that to the side. All these little things. So, um, next we have is the TNT. Yeah. Okay, um, the TNT. Really cool. It's just, okay, it's TNT, man. You, just getting a TNT block is, like, the best thing ever. If you did not know, that's what under TNT looks like. And on top... Boom. TNT block. Really cool. Um, Diamond ore. Really cool. You also get coal ore for the first Steve. And with diamond Steve, you get the diamond ore. Oh, and by the way, the, the TNT comes with the creeper. Really cool. Diamond for days. And uh, so we also have um this... uh. Oh, yeah, coal. Coal comes with the first Steve. And, uh, really cool. They're, like, almost the same thing, just with different colors. Next, we have the iron iron block. And the iron block is, it comes with the, the iron golem. Really cool. I think in Xbox, the iron block looks different. I could be wrong, but there. Fun fact about iron blocks, I think. <laughs> That's pretty much the entire review, actually. Um, I'm going to show you what comes in which set. So, you get all this in one set. All this in another set. All this in, the, in one set. Uh, all this in one set. All this in one set. I mean, it's a bigger set, so you get a lot more cool things. All this in on one set. And the animals. 
y'all get in one set. So that's the so that's the review. It's I really like the figures. I need was it the zombie Alex? Um, I'm missing one. Oh, the villager. Well, the blacksmith villager, villager, and the horse, and a few other ones. I think that's it. like you know I could like get the like the saddle pig thing, but you just get the same figures. Just you could just get you just get a saddle and like some hay bales, more hay bales and like carrots. But I don't really care about that set. But anyways, back to the intro. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's the review. I'm going to put all these guys back on display. Oh, and this display, this thing you get with the animals. So if you want to like, display your figures, you can just display them like that. Cool way of displaying your figures. So, yeah, I'm going to put the Enderman back and all those things. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe really helps me out a ton. It makes me want to do more videos for all you folks out there. And, um, yeah. Uh, that's it. So I'm just going to keep putting these guys all back in their rightful spots so I can display all the people that come into my room. So, yeah, it's taking a really long time to do the intro, but yay! I'll spend more time with you guys. That's it, guys. i see you guys later. One, two, three, and goodbye.